This LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. Is Davis trade is true? It's possible. Yes. So we're here and, and I made this video about it. You'll see it tomorrow, 1030. Make sure you guys are ready. 1030 tomorrow. My video drops. It's going to be about Jared Davis. It's going to be about Marvin Jones Jr. And um, we're going to talk about Bo Benchua a little bit. But I think it's very, very possible. We are not using Jared Davis that much. He's really not in the field that much. So you hear that Mike Tomlin and the Steelers are interested in Jared Davis. That's the rumor going around the mill. I think it's very possible that that could occur. So watch for that as well. Let's see. Yeah, what happened to those Notre Dame or Ridley is banged up. Marvin Jones is good at third down. Yes, he is, but he's getting upset that he's not getting all the touches. Let's see. Um, you lost to the Big Ten, both Louisiana. Let's see. Will Matt Stafford and Kenny Galladay have a good game and also would respect the Lions not allow 34 points after last week? The Lions, if you have offensive weapons for fantasy for the Detroit Lions, utilize them. The Atlanta Falcons defense is extremely bad. They are re literally relying on their offense, which is extremely good. So yes, I think you're going to see a big game. I think the Lions will score. They could score 40 points. This can be one of those games where I, I have them 37-34. So do not sleep on the Atlanta Falcons. Their offense is high-powered, and they're going to get there. What's going on, Robert Jones? Dr. Detroit, you like Tua or not? Technology, nobody won in 2013. What do you think of Yannick and Ngakwe? I think I love that the Minnesota Vikings got hosed because they sent a second-round pick to get Yannick and Ngakwe, and then they trade him for a third round pick so i love it they got hosed there's nothing wrong with the minnesota vikings getting hosed and to me it's crazy that they they pick up a guy and they're already tanking to me that's a tank that's a tank run the ball like we did last week yes play action yes run 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 the football when you run the football you win football games this is why we drafted this great great running back in DeAndre Swift run the football play action win football games that's how you do it keep Matt Matt Ryan on the sideline by running the football keyword Michigan fans okay will Stafford ever be the best again he's having he's having his best year before the injury last season Jay I am not 100% sure if he's gonna ever be like he was before We've seen some improvement last week, but so far this season, we've seen him not the same. And so, with that said, I'm not 100% sure. And in my opinion, he may not be the level like we've seen before. With that said, if we run the football and we focus this offense around running the football, guess what, folks? You don't need him to be that way. I see that we got 15 likes, but 37 folks in the chat. Smash that like button. Let's at least to get to 30. That'd be 15 more likes. Smash that like button. Help my channel out. I'm going against everybody. You know this. I say it repeatedly. Smash that like button. This game is very much a win. And it'll tell going to the fourth down for sure. Yeah, we have to win this football game, guys. If we don't win it. We're in a world of hurt for this team. Stafford is a disgrace. Stafford will be playing his first game at the state of Georgia since he was in college. Yes, yes, I heard that. Um, we losing, we're not losing to Minnesota. Minnesota looks like they're definitely in tank mode right now. So it'd be interesting to see what players are even on their team when we face them. They could be trading a lot of good players. You don't know. So watch Minnesota. They could be tanking, trying to get Trey Lance, or they could be tanking, trying to get uh, Trevor Lawrence. By them trading Yannick and Ngakwe, you just don't know. We know who is just keeping it indoors. We beat them 24 out of the 26 times. Do you believe the team, do you believe in teams tanking? Yeah, why not? Look what the Miami Dolphins did, Jorge. 
your team is a huge example of trading assets and and somewhat tanking what your team did was tank right last year three first round picks two second round picks now your team looks freaking great for the next 10 years i mean you're stacked with young players absolutely love what your team did so i do believe in it i think look if you're not gonna make a run right if your team that is eight and eight seven and nine six and ten that does you no good trade away assets turn around and build miami dolphins did just that and they're uh they, pff, i love what they did last year i love what they did in the off season i love what they did with the nfl draft i love how they brought to a tongue of iloa in this bad boy your team is a testament to how you should be doing it lions cannot stop the running game i think Gurley have a big day Gurley is having a very good year right now i think he's 4.7 yards per carry in there yes we have to watch todd Gurley. he is definitely having a resurgence no doubt about it the defensive line has a big task in front of them by stopping him if we can't stop him we're effed and that's the bottom line what's going on vash sarwin welcome welcome brother i appreciate you i think the bears are overrated 5-1 team the bears i don't think are overrated their defense is legit Anytime you've got a defense, you can win football games. They're proving it right now that their defense is high-powered. All they need is a game manager for the quarterback. Nick Foles is going to bring that game manager to them. And bottom line, man, they're, they're a good defense. And so if you have good defenses, especially when it gets colder out, you're going to win football games. Folks, I noticed that some people on here that I normally talk to it was blocked on my channel it was not on purpose i don't know why that's happening i unblocked a lot of you guys if you can't see your comments come up here let me know i'll look to see if somehow you got blocked i don't know why that occurred i apologize but uh, youtube just does that stuff lions need uh, to have stafford throw to win i think the lions just need to run the football and if we run the football i think we can win football games also, keep, again, Matt Ryan on the sideline. I think that's so important for the Lions. Keep their offense on the sideline. You can win football games that way. Yes, i seen Julian Aquara to IR. It's not like he was doing anything. Um, let's see. Miss you back. If I don't get your question as well, if I don't answer your question, just repost it. It's because it's flying so quick. I may not see it. Um, Game-winning field goal, good for them. If we don't win next two Sundays, we'll change the coaches. I think, yes, I think that, I think it's possible if we lose to Atlanta, they could fire Matt Patricia. You don't come to the idea of you, you defeat, the, or if you lose to Jacksonville, you're over. That means, in my opinion, they're already thinking about making a coach, or thinking about firing the guy. When their rumors are coming out, if you don't beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, you're gone. I think if we lose to Atlanta, it's possible. If we lose the game after that, it seems like it's guaranteed, man. So they have to win football games. Matt Patricia's got to win or he's going to be next. Unfortunately, we haven't done that since I'm just going to say it's no way all first-round quarterbacks be good. Um, let's see. It would be great if MSU, hey, Detroit Lions, cool channel. Go Falcon Sports Live Atlanta. Subscribe to Sports Live Atlanta. Uh, I just found out that he is a a uh, falcons youtuber i was in there he has some good content in there go ahead subscribe to his channel does great content it's going to be a fantastic game lions versus the falcons two very similar football teams and uh we support youtubers on this channel we support other youtubers regardless if you're lions or any other team so go ahead support his channel by subscribing I am, how do you doing? Let's see, um, I need TJ Hoxton to have a big game. I know, right? Michael Mike, interesting name. Yes, I actually got it from, uh, um, I am a, I have a degree in economics and business. So I wanted to look at Detroit Lions into a different facet, look into the financial aspects of what they do. Also get to explicit detail. So I don't just talk Detroit Lions. I also do a lot of NFL draft content huge into that if you ask my subscribers man i tend to i tend to get a lot of the draft stuff right i said the lions would draft tj hawkinson bo benchua amani awarie i said the lions would take um deandre swift jeff okuda 
So if you like content not related to Detroit Lions, you can subscribe to my channel because I will talk. And if you're seeing here this live QA, that's not just Detroit Lions. This is also any other team's channel. So let's see. Um, I'm trying to go here. I'm losing some stuff here. Um, you think the Galladay will try to trade him? Hopefully we don't. I don't think so. Hopefully we do not try to trade Kenny Galladay. I think the Kenny Galladay needs to stay a Detroit Lion. We've seen what happens when Kenny Galladay is not in the field. And the offense is subpar to, to say the least. Do you want to in a trade? Yes, I love trades. I want trades. If the team loses, I want to trade for assets. I want to I want to do what the Miami Dolphins did. If we're out of it, do it the Miami Dolphins philosophy. They're a good football team now. That is facts. Now, if we're in the game and we have we have the idea to compete, why not get a defensive tackle? Why not get a pass rusher? That's facts. Folks, if you've not hit the notification bell, smash the notification bell. I drop content every single day. As well, do live shows like this and live watch parties. And again, it's not all Detroit Lions. Who do you want to trade? Who would I want to trade out? Um, depending the situation, if we are tanking, like if we lose and we're going to end up being like a two win football team, you know, I'm willing to trade all just depending on the offer. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to network with some Lions fans. Hey, that's awesome, man. Hey, if you want to network, if you want to do a collaboration, hit me up. We do collaborations with all sorts of people. So I'm part of infinite sports network. What Infinite Sports Network is, is a collaboration of YouTubes around the YouTube spectrum. NFL teams, um, NBA, people part of ISN is not just Lions fans. We got we got fans from all over. So if you want to do collaborations, we do that. Let's see. Hashtag Mike is a cool guy. Yes, I appreciate that. Um, funny stuff. I have a mirror echo too top three players on the team for the Detroit Lions, Shane. Top three players for, for our Detroit Lions. N uh, and I'm just not saying, I'm doing value here. So this is not necessarily the pay. This is not necessarily uh, where they they are, but I'm talking about value. So when I, when I look at value for this team of my favorite players, DeAndre Swift, I love DeAndre Swift. Amani Awarie, fifth round pick. Fantastic what he's done with this team. And Man, how about Frank Ragnow? Frank Ragnow has just an, been an absolute stud. So these guys are my favorite players, and um, they're really doing really doing good there. Let's see here. Liked and bell, Mike. Well, thank you very much, folks. I appreciate you. And if you haven't hit that like button in 42 or you are in here, smash that like button, and it helps bring the content up via YouTube algorithm. Again, I'm going against the legacy media. I'm going against individuals that it's difficult to to go against because they are big and we are small. Let's see here, Infinite Sports Network. Um, let's see that. Um, let's see, Swift gets 140 yards. Peterson gets 70. Yep, run the clock down. Frog Crop. That would be fantastic if you can get such a monster um, run yardage like that. It's still yet to be seen if they can even get close to something like that. That to me is is would be automatic win. Like if you're running that type of run, you're gonna win football games, folks. I mean that's that's facts. How about Frank Rag now? Indeed, yes. Notre Dame fans don't have anything to talk about, although. Uh, West, we beat Notre Dame. DeAndre Swift was a be beast here in Georgia. Oh yes, obviously you got Matthew Stafford from Georgia. You got uh, DeAndre Swift from Georgia. You had Calvin Johnson from Georgia Tech. Georgia's was good. They bring good talent over there, and they t we, we tend to draft a lot of those guys for sure. Let's see. Um, I think it would be Swift and Carrion with majority of the runs, and Peterson lightly. Carrion is still decent running back. Well, did you know that Carrion Johnson was, when, when it comes to the Detroit Lions running and, and being on the field, he had less carries, less field time carries than DeAndre Swift, Adrian Peterson, and fullback Jason Cabinda. He had the least out of all of them. So that is, again, something to pay attention to versus Atlanta Falcons. How many carries does Kerryon Johnson get? Because that is not good when the fullback has more playing time than you. Let's see. All our playmakers are Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, right, right? So, yeah, I guess we can become Georgia fans because all our players are from there. Let's see... We should try to trade for good players. Yes, 
um, make a bold move, right? Make a, a power move. Go get a player that is a absolute stud, a Pro Bowl type caliber on the defensive line. I think that's where the lines. If if they're wanting to make a run, go get a a defensive tackle, a defensive end that can really disrupt. I think that's what you need. Like you need to have a dog defensive line. If you look at all the good teams, their defensive line is fearsome, and they and you win in the trenches. Right now, we got a really good offensive line, but our defensive line is absolute suspect and, and gutter trash. Sport